Someone wanted me to play Samson, so I'm like, you know what? I'll acquiesce. I'll acquiesce and I'll play Samson. It's been a while since I've played this guy. He's, he's kind of fun. He's, he's got some, some fun things about him. Uh, some also not so fun things, like the fact that you <clears throat> have to get hit to be able to trigger his damage bonus, but you know. We'll worry about that later. Might as well walk into this curse room, right? It's free damage at the end of the day. Loving the uh, amount of soul hearts. Holy crap. Okay. That's an incredible start. Anyway, hi, how's it going? Hope you're having a marvelous day. That's that's all there is to say. Hope 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 life's uh, treating you all right and all that. You know the usual stuff. Beginning to sound like a broken record, but <clears throat> I feel like I have like a moral obligation at this point to check in on people all the time anyway. Just just cause you know. God damn, that's one key for five bombs. What a trade. Where in the world is my secret room at? That's the real question, and I do not know the answer to it. Oh well, I guess I'll never find it. I guess I've just given up on it. You gonna make me step on spikes to grab belly button? Nah. <laughs> I got so many bombs, I'm not stepping on the spikes for this. Are you crazy? That's absurd. Anything cool in here? BFS is it, I guess. It's nothing terribly exciting. It's probably like in that fucking room with the moving spiky blocks and I don't want to check there. So you know what? I'm not gonna. Instead, I'm just gonna fight famine and enjoy life. I'm playing Zapsa, so it only makes sense that I also take Lusty Blood, right? <laughs> it's fitting for the character. It's certainly the better item of the two in this item room anyway, so. I wonder, you know how when, uh, when you have bloody lust and you get hit your like character becomes redder and then when you have lusty blood and you get a kill your character also becomes a darker shade of red do those redness values stack or does it always cap out at the same degree of redness i do wonder i do wonder if that is like there's like a limit to it you know a limit to how red you can get knowing this game there probably is oh god i just realized minimum is going to be such an incredible boss because i have lusty blood i'm going to kill all of his ads over time and i'm going to get so much damage throughout this fight i'm going to power up so much as the fight goes on it's going to be incredible look at that man i'm already hitting him so hard i'm doing 11 damage <laughs> like what the fuck damn damage up huge news should i check this devil deal i kind of want to keep my red heart so i can well, turn them into damage by playing blood banks and demon beggars. So, no, I'm not checking the devil deal. An actual good reason to pass it up besides, oh, I want to go angels. <laughs> Nothing in the shop either, so yeah, I'll just save my money. I forget that Samson also starts with insane shot speed. So now with like Cat of Nine Tails on top of it, my shot speed is absurd. <laughs> Doesn't even mean much considering shot speed is such a inconsequential stat 99% of the time, but there are situations in which having high shot speed is actually bad and whatnot. This is probably better than the black lipstick for me at this point. The, the ghost just fucking poofed? They just disappeared? Okay, well, fair enough. Let's use the tower on this guy, why not? It's rare for me to use a tower card offensively. There you go, it made this boss hella easy. Damage up, let's go. I got my angel deal, by the way. Jesus juice, it's a, it's a damage up, I guess. Plus range, which I actually could use, so I'm happy to have it. Let's check what we have in here for now. Boom, okay, well, not much of a choice there, but I think I chose the better one of the two, so it actually worked out. <laughs> Interesting, nevertheless. Anything neat in here? Uh, Soul of Eve, okay. Anyway, here's your follow-up for yesterday's uh, video. You know, I was talking about it. I had to pick up my parents yesterday at the airport. Well, you'll never guess this. The worst case scenario happened. Well, not for me. It didn't really matter much for me. I mean, I was a bit worried for a second that I had, like, I would get like in trouble or whatever because you're not supposed to park at the departures area, but let's start from the beginning. So my mom texts me and is like, hey, our plane landed. You should just start, you know, get on your journey to the to the airport, which, which I was like, I don't think I should, but sure, whatever, right? Maybe, maybe they're ambitious because I told her to tell me when she's got the luggage, like when, when they get their luggage instead of, you know, calling me or telling me when they get off the plane because I knew they were going to take a while, but whatever. I assumed that maybe that was what she sent the message for she was like oh we've got the luggage so you can start you know you can start your journey so i make my way i don't even rush or anything right i know i can take my time because they're probably still waiting for luggage i arrive at the airport at a quarter past 11 p.m by the way i, I need to preface this with saying that their flight was also delayed by an hour normally they were supposed to arrive home at like 9 p.m instead they arrived at like 10 30 so, you know, I start driving at about 10.30, arrive at the airport, like, about a quarter past 11. I, I sit there at the departures area, just waiting, in, in basically the, the holding zone. It's not even really a parking zone where, you, where you're supposed to park. At least, I don't think you're allowed to park. Maybe you were allowed to park after a certain time of day. It certainly wasn't a lot of traffic, considering it was 11 p.m. Lo and behold, I text my mom, and like, hey, I'm here. And she's like, okay, huh, we're, we're still waiting on luggage. What did I say? What did I say? 
They were gonna be waiting ages on luggage. They ended up waiting over an hour for their luggage to arrive. It just took that long for some reason. I don't, like I understand Frankfurt is a very large, very complex airport. And even though it's 11 p.m. and there's probably not that much traffic at the airport anymore, like in terms of that there's also not a lot of people working there anymore. And maybe, you know, we had to jump through a lot of hoops just to get that luggage off the plane and into the terminal. Either way, so basically what ended up happening is I was sitting in that parking lot for almost an hour. <laughs> just just chilling, nothing to do, waiting for them to come. Eventually they made their way out, and then after they got their luggage, uh, the elevators weren't working, so they had to like run halfway through the airport to get to an escalator that wasn't working either, and then they had to get, like, get another one that was working. The place is a fucking mess, man. I don't know how this is like one of the busiest and biggest airports in Europe. If that's the type of shit that keeps happening at it, like I just don't know how how they're still operational, man. <laughs> it's, that's crazy. I've never had such terrible experiences with Frankfurt Airport before, but man, it is it was a nightmare for them anyway. Not only was their flight delayed by an hour to begin with, which is already, you know, eh. I should not be using metronome by the way, because it can literally give me like something terrible that will instantly kill me. I'm pretty sure it can just become plan C or something. Show me the shop, I got money. <laughs> Honestly, it's better than metronome. I'd rather carry it than metronome. I don't even want to be tempted to ever use metronome either. Like, I, I just don't want to. So yeah, uh, I, I don't know, like, my, I made my mom pay the, the parking ticket. I don't want to know how much extra she paid. It was probably a horrendous extra amount. Like, there, there, there must have been a lot of money to be paid on a parking ticket, because I'm pretty sure you're supposed to only be in that area for 10 minutes instead of over an hour. Um, so, yeah. But it was the time of day, so I guess it worked out. Anyway, I'm gonna just use the Soul of Eve here, because I'm not- my ass is not fighting two clutches. Uh, Soul of Eve is doing this one for me, that's for sure. At least it turns out one of them does not get his, uh, bone friends helping him out. That's interesting. That Soul of Eve was unbelievably clutch. It did so much work here. Holy crap, dude. So what did I tell you, man? I was like, oh man, I think I should probably leave a little bit later. <laughs> well, I've learned my lesson. If I'm ever picking anybody up from the airport again, and I know that they have luggage, my ass is like waiting another 45 minutes to ha like maybe even an hour after their plane has landed because that luggage is going to take forever. Worst case, they end up waiting for a while and I, as I make my way over, that's still the better outcome as opposed to me having to wait and then having to pay for parking or getting kicked out of the area. Like that was my worry is that they were just going to kick me out. Like some fucking parking officer or enforcer or whatever was going to walk up to me and be like, hey, you got to get out of here, bro. You've been standing here for too long. Thankfully, that didn't happen. Instead, they just make you pay an exorbitant amount of money, I guess, which is uh, not my problem because I didn't end up paying it. I was only the courier. I was not the one that uh, contracted the pickup, so the, the company paid for it, not me. Now the real question becomes, what do I use my eraser on? These guys are not annoying enough to warrant being erased. These guys are actually kind of manageable for the most part. These guys actually kind of suck, honestly. Get them get them out of here, man. I don't want to see them anymore. Anything cool in here? Uh, more garbage, huh? Oh, at least stigmata is something. The HP up is nice, and the damage obviously helps always. A shop with a restock machine. Yes, of course. What do we have? Mm, yeah, I'll take a start, Dick. I haven't even countered a single pill yet, let alone uh, one that matters. Ooh. Options. Yeah, sure, why not? I won't have the money to buy whatever shows up here, but I don't need Mom's purse. I guess I'll take Mom's box. Maybe I can... Ah, oh, that's a good trinket. <laughs> that's a good trinket. Yes, yes. Now I gotta get into the challenge room, though, which is going to require, unfortunately, that I take some damage. Again, the game could facilitate that very easily if it just gave me a fucking blood bank or an arcade showed up or something like that. Oh, well, these are all cards now. Cool. Neat. Wheel of Fortune. No. Emperor and eh, Hierophant. Yes. Hierophant. Yes. <laughs> I don't even want to have that Wheel of Fortune on me. I don't want to be accidentally tempted into using or anything like that. I just don't want that to happen. Oh, what the fuck? Oh yeah, I forgot I had fucking Vanishing Twin. I was like, ah, where's the, where's the second one all of a sudden? Completely forgot about Vanishing Twin. Uh, two of these guys is certainly funny to fight in the same room. Okay, owie. I finally get a tears up. Let's go, dude. Let's go. Plus another angel deal with mm, Soul Locket. That's nice. Let's see what you've got for me. Mm, I don't think card reading is that good, honestly. Like, yeah, it's a free secret room. Ooh. It's a free secret room, like, once per floor or something, but, you know, there's better. Oh, Birthright? Samson's Birthright isn't all that exciting, but if I can somehow scratch together eight extra cents, this is actually kind of worth it. I have a ton of bombs. Whoops. 
A Wepsy. There you go, that alone already takes me close. If only there was a blood bank, I could play it, like I could hit, get myself hit with this. Ah, oh, it would be so good. I mean, I should still do it anyway. I should still step on something, you know, that'll hurt me. Get me a little bit of money. Okay, I'm, I'm taking birthright. It's an extra eight damage. Damn, damn. You know what? Screw it, let's fight the boss right now. It's the easier one, thank god. Oh fuck, I forgot that there's gonna be two of them. Uh, let's use the devil cart. These are some nasty bullet patterns. I'm glad I have the ability to just stay all the way back here. One of them is dead? Okay. Jesus Christ, slow down. Die, okay. Hey, I got a massive old tears up. Plus a bunch of cards for my troubles. A Yara rune. Uh, temperance. Ah, fuck it. What's the worst that could happen? Range down? Chemical peel? I don't know. I should have taken it. <laughs> should have just taken it, man. Uh. Mom's pearl. Now that is an interesting one. That is an interesting one. Let's check the shop because I'm close. Oh, yeah, of course, I have a member card, too. Of course. Eh, never mind. So here's the thing. There's options. Doesn't do anything for me anymore because I'm not going to have choices from bosses anymore. Because I only have the mom fight left. So I'll just take jumper cables and uh, enjoy life for now. That's going to be that. Now, mom's pro would actually be kind of goaded because of uh, the fact that I have... What's its face? Because of uh, fucking the soul locket, right? I feel like having... Mama's Pro would actually be good. I might take it with me off this floor. Let's check what we have in here for now, right? No blood bank. No natty blood bank anyway. I'll play this guy though. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks for the damage up. I'm not complaining. That's uh, incredible. Might as well keep this temperance card now, right? Like, what's the point in holding on to it at this... Like, th like using it at this point? I've already got my damage bonus for this floor. I think I don't need the penny anymore. I'm only getting one more shop anyway, and I've got what I need for it, for the most part, regardless, so... Yeah, plus I've got a temperance card waiting to be used, so yeah, I think I'll be okay. Anyway, here's something funny. You know, my parents came back. Uh, I guess they spent a long day at the beach uh, yesterday before they came back, because my dad was, like, in pain with an incredible, massive sunburn he got on his legs. Like, to preface this, you have to know, my dad wears long sleeve pants i guess is a way of putting it for life like bro has not worn shorts for as long as i know him which is 25 years because that's how long i've known him as long as i've been alive like he he only wears long long pants i i i've never seen the man wear shorts in my life it's it's a very rare occurrence let's say it like that i have but you know it's, it's a rare occurrence so look what a planetarium what the hell the, you know, so basically his legs are like really, really pale. Like, imagine the palest skin you've ever seen. That's his legs. That's that's like all that, that he just doesn't wear shorts. He never gets any tan on his legs whatsoever. But I guess when he went to the beach, he decided, hey, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be, uh, you know, well, wearing no pants because I'm at the beach. That's what you do. Is he was in like pain. His fucking ankles and shit were swollen. That's how insane the sunburn is. His fucking legs were swollen. <laughs> That's how crazy it got. Which is really funny. Because, <laughs> like, I looked at his legs, and they were, like, pure red. But only the front. I guess he just fell asleep, like, lying on his back or something. That's a massive fucking tears up. Jeez. See, so yeah, bro got, like, the sunburn of his life, and he was crying about how much his legs are hurting. Which is really funny. Because, like, I found it funny. Obviously, like, it's a bit, it's a bit of a sunburn. It's a bit, you know, nasty. And I'm, I'm sure it was painful as shit. Because I guess he, some, he burns really easily. Which is where I'm glad that I got those genetics from my mom instead. Where I don't burn easily at all, despite how pale I am. Like, I can spend the sun, I can get sunburned. I, I don't burn very easily. And the sunburn disappears very quickly. I, I'm a very easy to tan person. Which is wild to think about, considering... I don't go outside at all. But I guess I got those... I got the skin jeans from my mom instead, which is uh, uh, probably a good thing. But yeah, it is very funny. How... how just how... Like, words cannot describe how red those legs were. And like, they, they were swollen. Like, it was crazy. Bro... Bro was n straight up not having a good time. Apparently, it's better today than it was yesterday. He was saying like, oh yeah, after sitting for a while on the airplane, um, and all the blood rushes into your legs and shit, that is like... That made it even worse. I was like, what the hell, man? <laughs>
I just like like he was he was a little upset that I laughed at it. Uh, like he felt like the need he had to show me like how bad it was. That's like why I know how bad it is, right? But I was just like, oh yeah, no, it makes sense. Like I, I only know him for like his extremely pale legs, so I'm not surprised at all that he got utterly sunburned on his legs. That's really funny though. We've got one more shop here. It's Greet. Doesn't even matter. There's a member shop right there. Greet. You left your basement unlocked. You're not getting me out of here. I am grabbing what's rightfully mine, which happens to be down here. Oh, yes, please. Spider mod. Yes, please. Solo Lilith. Bloodshot Eye. Whatever. A restock machine as well. Don't mind if I do. Ooh, a school bag. Yes, of course. Uh, naturally, I'll take that. Thank you very much. Do I restock again? Uh, I don't really have the money. Like, whatever is gonna show up is gonna be too expensive anyway. There's no point in restocking. Alright, mom. Settle down, okay? Alright. You settle down? Good. More trinkets? Doesn't matter. Do I go up or down? Of course I go down. <laughs> naturally. More damage! <laughs> as little as it matters. Anyway, enough about my parents' travel stories. Uh, how about I tell you about more of the stuff that I went up to in the UK? I haven't talked about everything yet. I've been- I don't know why I've just been stockpiling, like, all the- all the anecdotes about my- my UK trip and stuff. I guess I've just, you know, I talk about it when I feel like talking about it. So here you go. One of the days we were in London, we went to the British Museum. Now, there's a lot of museums in London called something something British something museum. But, <laughs> this one particularly, is the big one where they store all the stolen shit. Like, all the stuff they stole from other cultures, you know? Like, the, uh, the it's more like the history-oriented museum and stuff like that. Now, the funniest part is, I didn't even consider it to be that museum, but every Brit I talked to after, you know, like, talking to them about how I went to that museum was like, oh, that's where we kept- we keep all our stolen shit. So it's the Brits themselves that are making those jokes at this point as well. But yeah, you know, like, they have a- an absolute shit ton of stuff being exhibited there, from like all the way to like ancient Egypt and Mesopotamia, all the way to you know like through ancient Greece, ancient Rome, fucking. Uh, they have like a Chinese exhibit as well for like Chinese history, which by in my opinion is one of the most fascinating histories because I never got to learn much about it. Like history in general, I've talked about this before, is something that fascinates me a lot. I think it's very interesting looking at the past and like how other cultures were in the past and stuff like that. Chinese history is so fascinating because you don't know anything about it. Like, it, it goes as far back as fucking Egyptian times. E Egyptian, as we're saying. Like, it goes, goes far back as Egyptian times, right? And yet we know so little about it. Like, we, we, never, we never talk about it in, like, our history lessons, really. We talk about Egypt, we talk about Greece and Rome and stuff like that, and that's, like, where, you know, where European history really, like, starts. Meanwhile, at that time, like, you know, they, they were already, like, eight dynasties deep into Chinese history and shit like that. Like, there's been, there's been people in China since, like, like, you know, like, doing shit with civilization stuff since, like, 5000 BC or some shit. It's crazy. They've been around for ages. It is, there's a lot of fascinating stuff to learn about that, but yeah, you know, like, the, the ancient Egyptian stuff is just, it, it's fascinating. Like, yeah, they stole all that shit from the time when, uh, Egypt was a colony of the UK, sure, but... And, well, I found it really funny for the, for the Greek section. They had, like, just a, a section where, like, a bunch of Greek stuff was being exhibited. I think it were, like, you know... Like, wall, I guess, like, statue kind of thingies. Oh, that's a good trinket. From the, um, from the Acropolis and stuff like that. A lot of the, a lot of the stuff was actually, like, just an empty exhibit. And then they were like, oh, this is currently being exhibited in, uh, Athens instead. Which I found really funny. So, like, they couldn't really steal everything from, from Greece. So they had to, uh, you know, share it at times. But, you know, that was, a, like, a fascinating place. I don't, we didn't get to see all of it because it's an absolutely enormous museum like there's so much shit being exhibited it's incredible it's insane how much shit the the brits stole in the 1800s and 1900s it's crazy bro but it was very fun nevertheless and guess what free to get into admission free you do not have to pay anything to go inside you do end up paying uh, copious amounts of money for a bottle of water, which unfortunately we had to do because none of us, we were three people and none of us took a fucking water bottle or anything like that with us, so we ended up, you know, having to buy bottled water and, uh, oh, that's, that's where they make their money back, I guess, at the museum. They, they rip you off with those, man. That shit was an absolute fucking ripoff. I think that's the case everywhere because you're not supposed to buy the bottled water. You're supposed to just, uh, bring your own, I guess. Or, uh, I don't know. Die of dehydration, I suppose. It's not supposed to be that hot in, in the UK usually, right? Yeah, I mean, this was the heat wave. It was hot as shit. You know, that place is absolutely enormous. Like, you can you can just spend... 
Honestly, I think you have to spend two days there. Like, I don't think it's enough for a single day trip. I think you have to spend two days at the British Museum if you want to see every exhibit. Plus, there's like always, I think there's always a rotating stock as well. So there's like some exhibits just that are changing all the time. I and mean, some of them were under construction. Like, we couldn't even get into them. Like, a lot of the Mesopotamian stuff was not actually being exhibited. Uh, or like the Assyrian, I guess, stuff. But like, it was, it was wild, man. I did take a couple of pictures of stuff. There was, they, they have the, like, the Rosetta Stone, you know, like that fucking... Ancient old slab of stone that they put the fucking laws on in fucking Babylon or some shit. For some reason, that was a really popular piece of exhibit. Like, you know, it's the entire, like, Egyptian and, like, Mesopotamian area and shit. Like, you've got, like, all kinds of old ancient statues there, fucking sarcophagus and pharaohs and whatnot. And then there's just, the, like, you know, people walking all around, which is fine. There's a lot of traffic at that uh, museum, as you can imagine, considering it's free to get into and it's massive. But then for some reason, there was just, like, always an enormous crowd stacked in front of the ancient black stone slab with, like, you know, Babylonian text etched into it that literally nobody can even read. And everybody was desperate to take a photo of it somehow. I, I don't know why that was such a popular one. I was just like, oh, that's the Rosetta Stone, that's cool, and then walk past it. I didn't, I wasn't like, oh, I gotta take a photo of this one, especially with how many people were trying to do the same thing. But yeah, it was, it was quite fun uh, to me how, excuse me, okay. How that just kind of was the most popular one for some reason. Everybody was rearing to get a look at the Rosetta Stone. <laughs> learn about, learn a lot about history as well that I never learned from school, obviously. That's kind of like what... What you go to museums for and stuff. No, but that place was incredible. I'm surprised, like, you know, because I've taken school trips to the UK. I'm surprised that nobody ever took us there. I'm surprised none of the history teachers that we ever went on trips with or whatever were like, oh, we should go to the British Museum. Like, it's free to get into, motherfuckers. Why not? Right? Why, why wouldn't you just... It's like, it seems like a perfect idea for a school trip. It's massive. You can spend the whole day there, which is ideal for school trips because you got to keep kids occupied, right? And it's free! Like, yeah, you're already, like, you're already on an expensive trip to the UK anyway, even if it's a class trip, but, like, come on, man, that shit is free. Why not just double down on it? Lovers. Oh. Well, I think that's better than a strength court. I'll use it on the next floor, though, because I can't be arsed to find my secret room on a blind floor. All right, Satan. Hope you're ready for my 2.14 shot speed, which is actually just absurd. You did kill one of my clots, which is annoying. I hate you for that. But, oh well. Okay, I gotta find my secret room on this floor though, which is gonna be annoying, but at least I have a ton of bombs. Eh, eh, decent, good. Okay, well here's what we'll do. We'll grab this. I don't think I need mom's box anymore, so I'll carry the, the globe. Actually, the globe's gonna let me find... I forgot to Yara! Whatever, I'll just Yara a random chest. <laughs> yeah, the, the, the globe, the, the, this thing is gonna let me find the fucking secret room, so it's fine actually. I forgot to... I can't believe I got to Yara. I got decent luck, so I think I'll probably be fine, but I can't believe I... Forgot about the Yara, dude. Oh my god, dude. Wow, these are both terrible. This is my punishment for forgetting about the Yara. This is what I get. I understand. I, I get it, game. I understand why you did this to me. I, 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 I deserve it. Alright. Lovers. You know, there is a case to be made to use that. <laughs> uh, I don't really wanna. But at the same time... It's kind of like having used the Yara on the starting room, because now I get... But I, get, I don't get to fight Mega Satan. I'll consider it. I'll consider it. I haven't really been taking a lot of damage so far on this floor, which is both a blessing and a curse. The blessing is that I'm not close to dying. The curse is that I am not getting any damage bonus either. <laughs> which is kind of what I, you know, what I do with Sam. So thank you. Yeah, actually, getting hit there was good. I needed that. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm taking Dr. Fetus, of course. All right, I have Eye of the Occult, but I also have incredible shot speed. <laughs> oh, God. I have the occult makes this a bit annoying because I can't just fire them out. I have to keep holding down, which is annoying with my tier rate. But it'll work out. I'm sure I'll find the way to make this work. Oh my god, the damage though. The damage though. Holy. Oh my god. <laughs> That's so stupid with Eye of the Occult, man. <laughs> they're dead though. Man, they're gone. They're not long for this world anymore. Holy shit, dude. Okay, now I feel like I want to fight Mega Satan with this build. I mean, this is just insane. First of all, let's one-shot the lamb. Uh, okay, it wasn't quite a one-shot, I guess. Holy shit, it does so much damage, though. And I get to control them. Plus, actually, this makes it better with Eye of the Occult, because I I only end up charging a next shot when I... um. Like, if I let go, I only charge up the next shot, so I can just control it for free. That's actually really nice. 
Oh, <laughs> well, now, now I definitely don't have to worry about dying ever again. I need brimstone bombs, now hold on, hold hold on, hold the fucking phone. We're, we're, we're fucking Dr. Fetus? Of course. Can't believe I didn't think of it until now. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Time to annihilate Mega Satan. Well, I don't know if it's gonna be as much of an annihilation as I think it would be. I feel like it might. Whoops, some of those didn't go the way I wanted them to. This requires a little bit of brain power to use. Like, you got- this is not just as brainless as like, oh, you just shoot up. You gotta keep a constant eye on your charge meter. To maximize your DPS output. You're taking a lot of hits, but honestly, that doesn't really matter because... You've got Wafer. The amount of damage this does is actually absurd. Like, I don't think it has any business doing this much damage. And yet, here we are. It's fine, next shot. Next shot coming up right here, boom. My blood clots being dead is a bit annoying as well. That definitely hampers my damage output a little bit, but look at the output regardless, man. I'm not even worried about anything. Yeah, keep hitting me. Fucking Curse of the Tower is just gonna trigger, and it's gonna... <laughs> it's gonna pop more brimstone bombs. I don't care. Keep it going. Keep it rolling. He's dead. What a synergy. And you know what? I'm doing the damn void. I'm doing the void! Wouldn't it be hilarious? You get full mapping on the void straight away and then you don't find delirium? Okay. Like you mess up so bad that you don't even find him. Yeah, hitting him is gonna be a bit annoying with this. Because he's gonna move a lot, huh? And this is kinda like a synergy designed to blow up stationary bosses, but oh well. If he ever decides to stand still, he's so done for. Where are you going? What is this? Why are you so fast? Yeah, stand still like that. Yes. Yes, stay in that for- oh. This is a delirium fight, man. This is one for the ages. An actual challenge for once. I don't even care about the damage, though. I mean, it's a challenge as in he doesn't, like, kneel over and die immediately because I have to actually, like, try really, really hard to hit him. But as soon as he's in this phase, oh, man, I can do DPS. I'm just gonna keep shooting. I don't care. I don't care where the bombs go. They'll go somewhere. They'll kill him eventually. There you go. What a, what a weird synergy, man. That was so fun. That was a lot of fun. Anyway, that's it from me for today. I'll catch you again tomorrow. I hope you've enjoyed yourself as much as I have. And until then, have a good one. Goodbye. Bye.